UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. You may think what you're seeing is art, but that's only half the story. These images are byproducts of highly sophisticated scientific research. This is just a routine part of, uh, of, uh, of staining that a lot of molecular biologists do. Uh, it's, very, it's very standard, but it, pr it produced these beautiful patterns of, of cells on, the, on a petri dish. Dr. Albert Folk is a bioengineer whose work gives him artistic inspiration. The art is beautiful to the naked eye, but its function is microscopic. We are interested in developing technology for a variety of uh, biomedical applications. It's called microfluidic technology because it's the manipulation of fluids on a submillimeter scale, essentially. Much of the research conducted in the Folk Lab involves the production of microfluidic devices, tiny clear polymer instruments through which cells can be studied. The channels in the microfluidic devices create a more realistic and dynamic environment for cell research. This is an improvement on the traditional method of studying cells on a petri dish. Uh, these three pictures were taken uh, at different times with the same device um, by injecting different dyes. Students in the Folk Lab take pictures and videos of this innovative process as part of their research and for use in scientific publications. These images are the foundation for what becomes Albert's art. But first, they must be hand-selected by the artist. Sometimes I just uh, go through the hard drives of my students, and um, it's actually a very random, very personal process where I just uh, pick which images I find more beautiful. With artistic license and a little help from Photoshop, the images are fit for an art gallery. In fact, Dr. Folk's work has been displayed in three different art installations across the University of Washington. I caught up with Albert at the Allen Library Research Commons and got a first-hand look at his most recent exhibition with a playful name. That's precisely why I call the exhibit uh, BAIT, uh, short for Bringing Art into Technology. Images are meant to catch your attention uh, towards the, the text that explain how the images uh, were created and also how with the science is behind the, the images. Albert hopes his art will bring the beauty and mystery of bioengineering to expanded audiences of all types, not just the scientific community. Science and art are not subjects one might normally associate together, but Albert sees it differently. I think I'm a scientist that uh, you know, at the end of the day, if, I'm, if I start uh, manipulating images or uh, thinking about art, then I, then I become an artist. Uh, so I don't think these two roles are mutually exclusive. I think they're very complementary and they make me a more complete person.